AJStyle.com and today we're going to be doing a sew along with one of my new Summer Patterns with Simplicity 8392. Now if you're new to sewing or want to learn to sew, make sure to go visit SewItAcademy.com where we teach you how to sew from the very beginning to the very end. Now if you just need a refresher course, you can click the link in the description box below and follow the basics video and then come back and sew along with me. Okay, we're going to be making view B, which is the jacket. Now on the back of the envelope, it tells you exactly what fabrics are recommended, what notions you need, like a seven inch separating zipper, and then of course, what size to cut based on your body measurement. So you're going to need, of course, the pattern, the zipper, and then the following pattern pieces. You're going to need pattern piece number nine, which is the front. Pattern piece number 11, which is the band. Pattern piece 13, which is our sleeve. Pattern piece 14, which is our drawstring. Pattern piece 12, which is the hood. And pattern piece 10, which is the back of our jacket. Go ahead and grab your back piece and your front pieces. And this is gonna be pretty basic. You're gonna lay your fronts to back at your shoulders and at the side seam. Make sure to match up your notches. Right sides are facing, of course. Now go ahead and go to your sewing machine and stitch 5 eighths of an inch at the uh, shoulders and 5 eighths of an inch at the sides. Okay, I went ahead and stitched my shoulders and my side seams and I pressed my seams open. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your band and we're going to fold it in half, wrong sides facing, okay? So the wrong side is facing itself and you're looking at the right side of the band. I want you to go ahead and press this and then we're going to just baste it together along the edge just to keep it in place before we attach it to our hoodie. Okay, now fold it in half, we're just gonna baste the top. I'm going to baste the edge, the short edge too. Now I'm going to give it one more press and then we're going to attach this band to our hoodie. Okay, now that we have our band pressed and basted, we're going to go ahead and attach it to our hoodie. So in the back, you have two notches and on the band, you should have two notches that correspond to the back. So we're going to pin there first. You should have another marking that corresponds to the side seam, so you wanna match that up as well and pin. Now we're gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now using a normal length stitch and back stitching at the beginning and at the end, we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now I want you to press your seam allowance up towards the hoodie. Okay, now that the band is on and pressed, we're gonna go ahead and attach our zipper. So with the zipper, if you need to shorten your zipper, you're probably gonna to need to shorten your zipper. I had to shorten mine. Um, you're going to place it face down on the right side. I'm gonna make sure my zipper pull is out of the way and that the bottom is just above the edge. And I'm gonna pin I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine, I'm gonna stitch close to the zipper teeth, but not too close. So let's go ahead, pin your zipper facing down on the right side, and we're going to stitch one side, open it, and attach it to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to, using my regular zipper foot, I'm using my regular zipper foot because I need, I need the full weight of my zipper foot to hold this in place. So I'm going to back stitch. Okay, 
Okay, once we have one side done, go ahead and separate your zipper and we're gonna do the same thing. On the remaining side, you're gonna place it face down. Pin it in place. And you're going to stitch just like we did the other side. Now that both sides of our zipper is attached, we're going to go ahead and do some top stitching. And you're going to do the other side the same way. Okay, once we have our zipper uh, finished, we're going to set this aside and we're going to grab our hood. And you should have some buttonhole markings on your hood. Go ahead and make your buttonholes on both sides of your hood. Okay, so I went ahead and did my buttonholes and then I also placed them right sides facing and then stitched around the hood using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now one extra thing that I did that's not in the instructions is I top stitched it. So I moved my seam allowance to one side and then just did a top stitch along the very top. Now we're going to go ahead and pin this to our hoodie. Okay, now matching the center back, you have two notches in the back and you have two notches on your hoodie. We're going to pin there first, aligning those notches. Right sides are facing, of course. And remember, you have a fold line, so that's where we're going to be folding over. So your zipper should be ending at your fold line. That means, as you can see, the hoodie extends. Same thing on the other side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch this down. And before we do that, I want you to fold your fold line over. So what I want you to do is along that fold line, I want you to fold and then repin. Now we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, back stitch at the beginning. Now when you turn it around, it's clean and covered on the other side. Now go ahead and fold and press the remaining fold line around the entire hood and we're going to top stitch. Now making sure that your seam allowance is up towards the hood, we're going to stitch around the neck. drawstring. Now if you're going to be using um, fabric to make your drawstring, then you're going to fold your drawstring in half, you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance, and then turn this right side out. But I have this really cool trim that I picked up at my local fabric store, so I'm going to be using this. And you can use ribbon, you can use rope, you can use really anything that you'd like to use um, for your ties. So I'm just going to go ahead and sift this through. And you would do the same thing if you were using a ribbon or your rope 
Uh, mine is pretty stiff, so I don't need a uh, safety pin, but if you do need a safety pin to pull this all the way through, then just attach it to the very tip. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our sleeves. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do our sleeves. So I want you to fold your sleeve in half, right sides are facing, and we're going to pin And now on your sleeve pattern, you should have had two dots here, right? Because this is our thumb opening. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want a thumb opening in your sleeve and you just want to kind of scrunch it up, then you can just sew all the way. Don't go ahead and leave that opening. But if you do want the thumb hole, then we're going to leave that opening. So I'm going to pin at both of those dots just to remind myself that we're going to stitch all the way down, stop at the dot, backstitch, start again at the other dot, backstitch, and then finish. Okay, using a normal length stitch and back stitching at the beginning and at the end, we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, I'm approaching my dot, so I'm going to back stitch, cut my thread, move down to the next dot. Backstitch. Now we've had the little opening for our thumb. So I want you to go ahead and press this seam open and then we're going to turn it up and we're going to stitch our hem. Okay, I folded up my hem allowance. Now you might want to try your sleeve on just to make sure I had to take a bit off for mine. Turn your sleeve right side out. And give it a good press. You're gonna do your other sleeve the same way. Now if you wanna top stitch around your uh, thumb opening, then you're just going to place your needle at your hemline, right, where your stitching is, and move the bottom of the sleeve out of the way so there's nothing underneath, okay? And go slowly because it's kind of hard to get in there. I'm going to pivot. and then you can trim off any loose threads. Once your sleeves are done, we're gonna go ahead and attach it. So what we're gonna do is, first we're going to pin at the underarm seam. So I'm gonna match that up, right sides are facing each other. And then I'm gonna work from the inside. And I'm going to match up my single notch. up my double notches and then you should have two more dots that you should have marked I'm gonna pin there and then your shoulder Now we're going to sew all the way around our sleeve using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Starting at the underarm seam and using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance back stitch at the beginning and at the end.
you're going to attach your other sleeve the same way and you are all done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, peace.